Get off my lawn! <laughs> Get off my lawn, you stupid shroom! Alrighty, everybody. Hey. Hello, welcome back to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Hey, Tristan, what? which character trait describes Mari? No. Courageous, serious, or naughty? <laughs> I personally think he's the last one. Ooh, <laughs> with those overalls? Mm. It's like the back. I'm sorry. I'm looking. I'm looking at the back of the Super Mario cereal box, and it has like silly questions up here. And like, the one that made me lose it was who is Mario's brother and trusted sidekick. <laughs> it says Toad is one of the answers. <laughs> I don't know. And this is which power causes Mario to become invincible. Obviously, it's the green shell. Like, okay. <laughs> anyway, back to Toad. Full flip. Oh my god. No one saw Mushroom, that. mess. Wait, yeah, mushroom. Oh yep. no, he's being chased. He's like, get, get off my lawn, get off my lawn, you stupid shroom. So right. yes, so we've got Melina on player one still, Yay. controlling Captain Toad. Woo! Here is our guest, and then we've got Tyler on helping with the co-op. Yeah, helping. I'm being useful. Helping, if that's what. And I'm here for commentary. Helping, <laughs> I kill them and hosting. I kill the shy guy. All right, nice. let's okay. go. It's so. Let's just take all the again. It's so weird. I do have to say, this co-op okay. is really weird, because it's like, I don't know, it's like not being in control of the camera. Oh, I think and it's just a like, room. Ugh, it's just so weird. Yeah, I go through there. Oh, I think this one was, was this one in the demo? I don't remember. Yeah, this one was in the demo. Okay. Hey, Jem. Hey! <clears throat> Alrighty. Cool. Uh, ooh! Yep. Money, money! Money, money! In my opinion, it definitely <clears throat> is an interesting co-op to do yeah. it like this, where I feel like it... It almost, to me, it almost feels like Player 2 does more. Yeah. Because how much control they have. I will say, though, a piece of advice on Tyler. Don't destroy all the enemies right away, because in later levels, there's times where the enemies can only... Only the enemies can destroy certain objects. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So I would say... And, and you have Make to, like, sure to, to play like, trick them. To them. Yeah. Oh, where are the shy guys that were, ch that were chasing me in the opening title card? No, no worries. He no killed worries. them right away. Oh, Which is why thanks. I gave him that piece of advice. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, this one was definitely in the demo, because I remember trying to get the last gem and, like, finagling with this a while. Mm. Anyway. Hello. Go on the stick. Go Hello. on the water. Hello. I'm trying to... See? Already. Okay, we, what, what do you want to do? What's the timer? Three minutes? Two minutes? And already what's he's giving... What's the thing you want to do? He's already giving me sass, people. What do you want to do? Oh, oh, he's already giving me sass. I want to get these coins. Okay, get the coins. Well, how? Oh, wait, oh okay, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 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 This hmm. is why I like being control my own camera. This is up too far. Alrighty. Wait. Oh, I have to get down here. Blomp, blomp, blomp. Like, oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Wait, no, not that one. I'm so happy yeah, that, that they gave Captain Toad like an actual like full fledged game. Because go in. excuse me. Go in. No. Yeah, no, you gotta go in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um what? And go back. Giving me sass? Go in there. I don't have to. I can, I can, I can wreck this playthrough, but I won't because Tris is a good boy, and I won't do that to him. Tyler, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, raise so, it. Oh yes. Oh, anyway, um, I'm so, I'm so happy that Captain Toe got his own, um, actual like fle fully fleshed out game. Because besides, other than the fact that he's my favorite Mario character, uh hello, um, and I, what was it? Not Super Mario World that he has little. Oh. Can you drop down? Yeah. yeah. That he had like his little extra levels himself. Oh, um. Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I always like those. Were my, that was my favorite part of the game. It's just the little <laughs> Captain Toad. It's That's like, fair. Da -da 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 -da. Those were a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those were yeah. a lot of fun. And I was like, yeah. Oh. And everyone was very sad that there was only like five. Yeah, of them. there wasn't that many. Yep. Ooh, hold on. Let me just. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, because they had little. Yeah, they had little challenges. Don't worry about the challenges. No, I, I know. If, I know. If you beat them, you do. But don't like <gasps> worry about them. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Yeah, the volcano. Pyro Puff Peak. All right, next chapter. You Double Cherry you have the Palace. Button. Huh? You have the screenshot button. What? Oh, the she has to hit take a screenshot. Oh, well, I'll I do that. Know. I'll do that when I get my own. Oh, this is yeah. pretty actually. This is very pretty. Yeah, I love the visuals in this oh, game. Oh man, here <gasps> we go. It's clone time. It's clones. Now there's two of them. Double. Wait, I can't. I, I can't, can't zoom in the camera. Yeah. Oh man. Oh rats. Okay. How the heck? All right. Yeah. There you go. Yay! Double the fun! Double the toads! <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh, that's why you can't zoom out. Yeah. There's gotcha. a fixed camera for this level. Okay. Do I need the turnip anywhere? No. I can use turnip, so not really. Hmm. Because I kind of want to get the gems. Oh, this is weird. 
I'll just reveal all the coins. Too. Oh, I don't. Ugh, this is. Oh, we have to kill him. That wasn't my least favorite. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me get this turn. What? Let Toad number two. Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks, Tyler. <laughs> I'm being useful. I mean, I'm just. I want to have my own agency, but I guess can't. I guess oh, I can't. <laughs> sorry. Can't okay, I won't. I won't sell turnips anymore. Whatever. I won't sell turnips anymore. Well, no. I didn't no more say turnips. That. No. No, wait, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't you, say you that. You can, you, you have, no. I, I believe in you. You just no. want the mushroom to you. Can no! Use, <laughs> you can, you have the ability to oh! handle the mushroom to I'll try. Turns by yourself. Oh, well, no. Those, I those... think you had to get both switches at the same time. So I know. So it's going to take some trial and error. Yeah, which is so much fun with this power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. This is very... Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm the puzzle master. I played all of the Professor Layton games. I know what puzzles are. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I, yeah. I'm trying to get into that series. Oh, my I gosh. I started the first one. I, oh, like, um, the serious village is so good. Um, I'm, in, I'm in the middle of um, Layton versus Wright. I started a while back. I oh. want to I wanna get into it more. Cause, but it's actually, just, it's I can't get over fun. how much I don't like Phoenix's voice in that game. Oh. Yeah, I've, 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 actually, I've actually never played that game. I never beat it. I, I I think I only got past like the second or Land third on him. Case. Land on him. No, I went oh. I got pretty far. I got near the end. Yeah. I, I mean my favorite part about the game is just like the the one thing it's probably spoilers, so never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Go in play, I don't know. Go in the hole. I am. Ooh, there gem. You know, is a gem. Um yeah, like, that's a really good game. I've um I've got it since I was, I don't know, I just kept up with all the releases. And I remember there's one particular puzzle that I had so much trouble with. It was, um, was if, any, if was, anybody remembers it, it was um, when you're trying to get into the mansion when you first arrive at the, um, I've, it's been a while, I forgot the names. But, oh, there's a friend! Ha ha! There you go. Um, oh, so you just have to pull them for that. Okay. Yeah, so it, it was this matchstick puzzle of a dog, and you have to move two matchsticks to make oh, it look yeah. dead. And, like, I have struggled on that for the longest when I was little. And then <laughs> my uncle figured it out. I'm like, wow, okay, I guess I can play this game fully now. <laughs> um, but, yeah, if anybody hasn't played um, the Professor Layton series, I really, and if you like puzzles, I really recommend it. Um, in my personal opinion, though, the later games, like when it starts to switch to 3D, switch. what? Oh. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> when they do that switch to 3D, um, the puzzles, at least in my opinion, the puzzles are just like, eh, not that great. And is I, it that is it that they're bad puzzles or, they, or no, that they got easier? At least like, to me, I don't know if it's maybe because I'm like I did a lot of puzzles, but at least in the third one, not it, it was after Re Unwound Future because that was a really good game. Um, it was like this. The last two games in the series, the puzzles were just like the puzzles were good. But they weren't as as good as the first two games, and then okay, I see. yeah, and then the um, <clears throat> and then um for the recent one that I had um Catriel, mm -hmm. the one with Layton's daughter. Yeah. Um. So what happened was oh hold on quick tip you can zoom yeah 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 I know um shy guy heights oh yeah. wait oh, hold on look at him stretching or yawning so cute <laughs> um. So, I forgot the name of the of the guy who's the master of puzzles, but like he unfortunately passed away, and so I don't know because of that if they changed the puzzles in that game. But I the see. puzzles in Catriel, it's in my opinion, they're not good at all. Like mm. they don't have the same like. So charm. this is a cell section, by the way. Basically, oh no. What? Oh no! Don't don't eat me. Let him go. Like, see if you can do it. Basically, just they oh, go there stealth. and go past. Yeah. Oh. Basically, just <laughs> oh. tries to get by. He's like. Mm. Oof. I'm not gonna let anybody get through here. Um, yeah, and then the story of that game is just... Oh my gosh. Oh, I should've knocked him off the turnip. Can you get the guy for me? Oh, no. It's, oh. It's your playthrough. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh. Well, if it's my playthrough, I still need, I still need you to work the camera, please. Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm doing it. Um... So yeah, because of the the puzzle masters, I forgot his name, but I don't know if it's because of his death that the puzzles got like easy and just not fun, or if it was something else. But mm -hmm. um, the story in it, it's just not. It's I I I hate it. Like I, I, I don't know if anybody listening to this likes that game, you know, like what you like, but I just personally don't like it. 
Interesting. The first three games, um, Mysterious Village, and there's a second, Diabolical Box, and um, Unwound Future, in my opinion, three of the most. Oh, he sees you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm cornered. Ah! The ladder. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay. Keep going up. Keep going up. Uh, I can't. I can't. Okay, okay, okay. Can I work this? <laughs> no. She has a sound. Okay. Um, yeah. So, Unwound Future. Oh. Now you have to do it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let me get away from you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so the first three games, are, in my opinion, the plot, they're really good. There's a lot of good dark twists and turns and just very chilling overall. And then the first, and then the last two games, it starts to add, like, um... Because, like, the first three games, they had, their, they had like, um... Pff, how would you describe Oh, that? nice. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> I'm too busy talking. Um, oh, the plots were very like um, constrained within their games, so you know you can you can jump into like diabolical box or unknown future and not know anything about the first game. There's like some some characters that come in the second game or whatever, but not really imperative. Um, yeah, can you turn this way? Um, <clears throat> there you go. But in the last two games, they I guess they give like Layton like a, a very like. Weird past or something. I think that blue shy guy has a. There's gem. probably a gem up there. Oh, okay. Um, Just kill one of these guys with that. Yeah. Oh. But how do you guys feel? I'm trying to talk and do this, <laughs> but how do you guys feel about um, games when they have sequels, but like the tone changes drastically in it because it's the I hate it. It's the worst. Like, what are you guys' thoughts on that? I think the only place I've I've. I, I feel like I have an example of a game that I've played before that I liked a lot. Ooh. And I don't remember I don't remember what the game's called though. And uh yeah, I gotta get those. Uh I think the one I can th I think of first when I think about that is Persona 4. Mm -hmm. Considering like how dark a tone the uh three three was. Like it's even I think it's though I think it's even weirder <gasps> going um I can't zoom in the camera. It's a friend. Can I zoom in the camera? Oh no. I'm sorry. Hello, I'm sorry. I think it's like I think Weirder than going from three to four is going from four to three, like, because there are so many mechanics that are added that were probably taken out for simplicity's sake, mm -hmm. that are there, like, he go up there. He probably has a gem. Oh, how can I hit him? Uh, because you are not helping me. Sorry. Oh, I guess no, he's not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go on with your thought. Uh, like, what mechanic am I thinking of? There's, there's like, oh, there's like. There's like I guess maybe more so like the way that the dungeon plays out feels like something I'd expect from a game more rec more um more modern more modern I guess compared mm -hmm. to Persona 4's dungeons. Oh, I mean wait, you're comparing three to four? Yeah. Or? Oh, okay. You need to turn the camera so you can actually see the side. But then like yeah, yeah it's it's just like talk so talking talk and play Tyler please. It's just like so <laughs> jarring, like see, with the tonal Yay. difference between four to three. Oh. Oh, because, oh Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, like, I don't think it's, it's definitely not bad, but. Because Tyler played four, and then I think, I don't know. If I played, played four three. golden, and then. And then he, yeah, he went back. And then five, and then I watched the movie for three. Okay, I, I have I, I started three, and, like, I did, I definitely noticed the, um, the tonal difference there. Yeah. But, uh. Um, okay. What about you, Tristan? Do you have any like stakes in this in this conversation? Or so definitely, there's some. I I think sometimes it it, it really depends on what instigated the change. I would say. Mm -hmm. So like for example, like the Mario and Luigi series. There's like five Oops. games in the series technically. Ooh, not counting remakes. To... Oops. That's I it. You can to... just pause and back yeah, just... out of it. Yeah. Okay. So like. You have Mario Luigi, Super Star Saga, Partners in Time, Bowser's Inside Story. Oh, how do I pause? Minus one. Dream Team. Oh, how do I pause? Minus one. Oh, okay. Uh, you have oh. Super Star Saga, Partners in Time, Bowser's Inside Story, Dream Team, and Paper Jam. And the first three are typically seen wondering. as like really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then Dream Team and Paper Jam were done in 3D, or, or more so 3D. So the visual style was very different, Ooh. and it was handled very differently. And Dream Team was typically considered like pretty good, but it falls a little short. And then Paper Jam, because it brought it, it was crossover of Paper Mario, it pulled a lot of the elements in Paper Mario that was happening at the time, which was Sticker Star. So Wait, it was very. Sorry, pull that thought for some. Sorry, mm -hmm. we are upside down. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Talk to the map guy. Oh, hello, Map Toad. 
How are you faring within this inverse world? Where's Garantina? <laughs> Garantina? Garantina? Garantina. Gu what? Uh, Garantina uh, forever. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Sir? Oh. Anyway. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. But so typically, it's like in that case, it was just, I think they're just constantly trying to do new, unique things with the series. Sorry. That I'm, I'm, I apologize, Justin. Hold that thought. That's okay. Oh my gosh, they're sleeping upside down. Oh, hello. You're clapping for him. Hello. Yeah, I'm happy you're defying gravity, but what the heck? Sorry, go on. <laughs> um, I think that's a case where they, um, where the change isn't necessarily, like, that good. Like, uh -huh. they're trying to do too many different things and trying to do things that are, are different. Mm -hmm. That it, it loses the charm of the original game. But yeah. then they started remaking the original ones, and it's getting better. So, like, they did the remake of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, mm -hmm. and I think that held up pretty well. Okay. So I want to call those a tonal big, difference, though. Things like that. Well, yeah. And then, then like, there's other sides of it, like, I would say the Paper Mario series, honestly. Oh. oh. Whoa. So, mm -hmm. with that, there was, um, you know, the first two Paper Mario games, they play about the same, and mm, they're, both, they're, they're both very, you know, normal. They're, uh, they're both considered very, like, oh, generic RPG general. story. Uh -huh. Nothing, like, super dark or whatever, or mm -hmm. super, you know, heavy story. Then you have Super Paper Mario, which was more of a platformer, side-scrolling platformer, and, and you know there there was no turn-based combat, but it was very uh, it, it it became very heavy in its story. Mm -hmm. There was the the rather intricate plot between uh, the Tim Penny and Blumiere, so to say, mm -hmm. uh, as as their official names are, uh -huh. um, and a lot of people didn't actually end up caring for that because they felt like this was too heavy a story to have in like a, yeah, a, a yeah, Mario game. Yeah. It built to a lot of people feel out of place. Oops. A lot of people really like it, but a lot of people feel like it's a story that doesn't fit in a Mario yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's because I personally never played any of the Paper Mario ones except right. except uh, the one that everybody hates. Sick of Star. <laughs> I only played that one. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah, but so at least like I coming from somebody who hasn't played any of those games, like mm -hmm. I don't see them having like a dark story. So even though yeah. I think that was pretty weird too. Yeah. So it's like, it's not a bad thing. Like it's actually executed rather well, but it's still the whole thing. I'm like, that's that's a very tonal difference. That, yeah. That's done Ooh. very differently. Oh, well, there's a special <gasps> special coins right there. galore. There you go. Hold this, hold this inter, hold this thought, people. What is happening here? I'm done with that thought, by the way. Anyway. Oh. Because uh, I had something I wanted. So to say. you you pick either the mini game where you break blocks with a pickaxe, yeah. or you pull up plants. <gasps> pickaxe. There you go. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's like the oh. All right. Oh. Go to the pickaxe. Go to the pickaxe. And then run across and then roll around. Hit hit the pad blocks. Hit the pad blocks. There you go. There you go. Oh, I can't hit them. No, I'm in. Oh, I can hit them too. Oh, he can hit them too. Help me, help me, help me. Go to the mushroom. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I like how that turned just pause in midair. Um. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. So at least like. So solid. At least like for me. Um. You're right. I I don't like. Oh, my cart tunnel throwdown. Um, so, okay, so for me, it's like, you know, if, it's fine if there's a tonal difference, but when it starts affecting, like, treating their own characters as a joke, that's when I have a problem Yeah, with that's it. fair, that's So, fair. for example, um, I played, I like, I really like Bravery Default. The first game was, like, you know, really amazing. Wait, wait. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm, wait, what? Is it you? No, you choose, you, you do the camera, too. Yeah! You can both, you can throw turnips, by the way. Oh, I can? Yeah, you can <gasps> throw turnips. So both of you can throw turnips. Yay! Um, wait, uh, I think there was something we missed behind us. Yeah! Because I saw oh, more path behind us. Oh, wow. Look at these cute little turnips being flown everywhere. Ah! Oh, look at these winged friends! Get the, um, get the one on the right. Ah. Oh, I'm getting power blocks. Get the one on the left. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> oh, no! You, you should be sure not to miss the items. You gotta hit them. Oh, yeah. <gasps> give it, give it, give it, gem. Um, yeah. So, like, for example, um, I really like Bravery Default. Like, it was the mm -hmm. the battle system was so fun. And I loved the job system, like the character yeah. story, everything was good. Then the second one comes out, um, Bravely Second, and like, when you played, oh, I hope this isn't spoilers, but just, um, spoilers, I guess. Um, but at I don't the think end, much of our RPGs are here for two things. Huh? Oh. I don't think of much of our RNA is turned JRPG. Oh, turn around. Oh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. I think there's something about... No, okay. Oh. Well, oh. at the beginning. Oh, well, excuse, excuse me, minecart. Yeah, there was one at the beginning, I think, is what it was. Oh, oh well. That's Yay! Okay. Um, Wait. So, at the, end of, at the end of Bravery Default, you get, like, the scene of just, like, um, 
Tiz inside like this uh, machine, and then you see like a girl coming in, like busting him out of it. And you're like, oh, okay, wow, this is wild. What's going on? Then the second game rolls around, and just the first game, spin wheel, bullet bill, base. Um, the first game, it's like it had a good uh, blending of like you know jokiness and like seriousness. Right. It kind of reminded me of um, but not I wouldn't say a shown in anime, but it kind of the plot, at least like the way it was structured, kind of reminded me of like an you know, kind of like an anime most. And what I mean is that there are, like, some points in the story where, hey, let's take a break and just do this cute little thing, but we're not doing it just for the sake of filler. It has it has a reason, you know, you eat, like, important characters. So, in Bravely Second, they just, like, hey, I guess, hey, do you, you know that character that actually had, like, a really dark and, like, you know, depressing story? Let's just, like, for example, um, I guess, like, spoilers, even though the audience probably doesn't really play RPG, Japanese RPGs, um... So in the first game, there's this character named D, and so basically he was um he came. Go back, go back, go back. Oh. So um, essentially, okay, you can go now. okay. So essentially, like his character, he was like really deep, but he really cared for one of the main characters. So the point, mm -hmm. like you know, he was a love. She was a love interest for him, um, and you know that was part of his character that he liked the main that he liked one of the girls, um, Adia, but it wasn't to the extent where he was obnoxious. But in Bravely Second. That's his whole character stick. Uh, oh, see. I'm like a lovesick puppy, and like, oh, Adia, just love me and go out with me. I'm like, why did you butcher this character? And then that game feels like, oh, wait, hold on. First of all, before I finish talking, uh, did I? Where am I going? What it am I back doing? Switch. Go back to Switch. Okay. We, we broke the blocks that were here, so now we can turn this and go up the stairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, wow, talking and playing video games is hard. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, and so, like, Bravely Second just feels like a cheesy, bad anime. I see. Because there's, hey, we have this character, and they, you know, they like each other. And, like, there's literally the classic hot spring scene. And I'm like, what, why is this, what is this doing in this game? Which way, this way? Oh, <gasps> no! no! This way? But, but that way. Oh. Over, to the, over to the spinner. Oh, okay. Uh, I, don't wanna, yeah. I don't want Bull to hit my baby. Yeah, just go. He, um, he has now baby for him. Yay. <laughs> um, Let's try those blocks, yeah. Which one's those? Oh, oh, oh I, can, I, can, I can aim oh, you have to aim those, it. yeah. Um, yeah, so it's like, why is there like a, a cheesy hot spring scene in this game where the plot in the first game was very serious and like, frankly, it was dark? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, hey, don't peek at me, uh, don't peek at me, like, not, what's, what's his name? Not Tiz, but... Did you play Bravely Second, Tyler? I did not, because you advised me not to. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, I mean, based, um, all I wanted to see was, like, the, the cool summoning uh, the cool summoning animations, which I will do a YouTube video for, so I am completely content with yeah. Bravely Second. So, hey, oh, ma new main character, don't peek at me on the hot spring. Ha -ha. I'm like, what is this doing in my game? I did play the demo, though. Yeah. And, like, the, antagon the, char the antagonists are just, like, one, no, not developed at all, and just, like, everybody... Instead yeah, of having, yeah. like, like intellectual, cool. like, deep, fleshed-out, like, character stories, hey, we're all, like, one, you know, one-no characters now. And, like, that tonal difference just really pissed me off. I completed the game, but it just really, like, made me angry. Because, like, how do you take, how do you take, like, a good series and just make your characters into a freaking joke like that? Uh, and, like, way, yeah. Um, no, we and, can go back through. Okay. And that just, like, really made me angry. Oh, wait, like, I don't. Like some, like some good, ga not all good games deserve a sequel, because That's something fair. like, because so, something like that will happen. Like the first game is really good, and the second game they just. <gasps> Wait a minute! I was too busy talking, but his hat, his head. Yeah, is because like... he's. Wait a minute! He's a hit. It's oh really? Oh no! I'm sorry, baby. <sighs> Yay, we did it! Wow, what a what deep topics we were talking about this episode. <laughs> all right, yikes! I think on that note, we'll end this one here, and next time we will continue to the adventure. Yay! Yay.